2022 marks the Queen's Platinum Jubilee, a celebration of her 70-year reign. Queen Elizabeth II became Queen in 1952, aged just 25 years old. She is Britain's longest-serving monarch. The Queen was born on April 21st in 1926. When she was 10, her uncle, King Edward VIII, abdicated, and her father became King George VI. In 1947, the Queen married Prince Philip, the Duke of Edinburgh, and they were married for 73 years until his death in 2021. The Queen has four children, eight grandchildren, and 12 great-grandchildren. She has seen 15 Prime Ministers come and go. Although the Queen is over 90, she still works many hours each week. She is consistently kind, hardworking and respectful. She bestows honour on those who make great contributions to society, but she also pays tribute to ordinary people whose work goes unseen and unrewarded. The Queen does her duty to her country cheerfully and faithfully. The Queen is also a Christian and has always been open about her faith. Six months before her coronation, she asked the people of the Commonwealth and United Kingdom to pray for her, that God may give me wisdom and strength to carry out the solemn promises I shall be making, and that I may faithfully serve him and you all the days of my life. God has answered these prayers over the last 70 years, throughout much tragedy and change, including her children's divorces, the death of her former daughter-in-law, Diana, Princess of Wales, and the death of her husband, Prince Philip. Throughout all these trials, the Queen's Christian faith in Jesus has kept her going. In her 2002 Christmas Day broadcast, she said, I know just how much I rely on my faith to guide me through the good times and the bad. Each day is a new beginning. I draw strength from the message of hope in the Christian gospel. In 2014, she called Jesus her inspiration, role model and anchor, who stretched out his hands in love, acceptance and healing on the cross. Jesus is the king of all kings and queens, the ruler, reigner and creator of the whole world, yet he came to serve, not be served. In 2011, the Queen spoke of our need for salvation from our recklessness and our greed. God sent into the world a unique person, neither a philosopher nor a general, important though they are, but a saviour with the power to forgive. Her faith has shaped everything she has done over the last 70 years of her reign. So as we celebrate the Queen's Platinum Jubilee, we honour her for the past 70 years of service devoted to both her country and God. And we thank Jesus, the King of all, for our Queen who serves her King.